Next week, will it be full steam ahead to improve passenger rail services? MEPs also continue the crackdown on tax avoidance and look to take Europe's security and defence to infinity and beyond. Welcome to the agenda. Public transport delays can be rather taxing. Is there some irony perhaps in the fact that a deal to open up railway networks across Europe is not quite on track? A more competitive rail network is a great idea in theory, but putting into practice is another issue. Basics such as rail infrastructure have long been considered a natural national monopoly. Not all EU countries are gung-ho about liberalising their rail networks to EU-wide competition and they want long transition periods for the rules to take effect. Many member states also want to maintain the right to directly award public service contracts. So can a deal be struck? A final trialogue between the Parliament, member states and the Commission takes place on Tuesday. The Panama Papers leak is the latest scandal that throws a spotlight on aggressive tax avoidance and no doubt provides further fuel for Parliament's special committee on tax to call for legislative change to taxation laws. Monday we'll see a meeting with representatives of national parliaments to see whether greater institutional oversight could help crack down on tax evaders. The recently unveiled anti-tax avoidance package will also be on the agenda for discussion. Could our security here on Earth be governed from space? Satellite systems already provide critical information for civilian and military purposes. Plans aim to promote EU space programs like Galileo, a satellite navigation system, and Copernicus, an early warning system, and have them fully operational and provide for their long-term finance. The Foreign Affairs Committee votes on their initiative on Tuesday morning. And now for some news in brief. Parliament's new Car Emission Inquiry Committee set up in the wake of the VW emission scandal will hold their first hearing late on Tuesday evening. Do you have the right skills for the new era of digital technology? EU Commissioners Marian Tyson and Thibaut Navraxis will discuss a new skills agenda with MEPs. Discrimination against women persists in the workplace, in higher education and when they have families. MEPs vote on a draft report to reverse the trend. A new four-year deal with the Islamic Republic of Mauritania to allow EU vessels to continue to fish in their waters is in the pipeline. Parliament's Fisheries Committee votes on the proposal on Tuesday. And also look out for the President of Eurojust, who will be at the Parliament next week. And finally, the One World Human Rights Film Festival kicks off in Brussels on Tuesday. Selected films can be watched right here at the Parliament or at various spots across the city. Workshops will also be held with previous Sakharov Prize laureates. See the website for further details. And that's all we have this agenda. Take care and enjoy the week.